this episode of The Excursion, we begin a two-part journey through the golden hills of Dahlonega, Georgia, where I take on a few high-adrenaline ATV trails, speed pan for gold, and explore the wonders of caramel at downtown Dahlonega's famous fudge factory. And if I succeed, it's a Cinderella-esque carriage ride through these golden hills to a scrumptious Creekside cowboy dinner. But if I fail, it's the crew that gets this frontier <laughs> feast. Let's get started. There's gold in them thar hills. That's right, in 1829, about 40 miles north of Atlanta, Dahlonega, Georgia became the epicenter for America's first gold rush. The evidence of that exciting time is still present all over town, and is mixed with tasty modern restaurants and interesting shops to become one of the South's most charming downtown areas. The Dahlonega Gold Museum, once the town's story-filled courthouse, sits right in the middle of town square and beautifully sets the tone. Here, you can learn all about that famous gold rush of 1829, why it started, the madness during its heyday, and why it all stopped. A gentleman named Dr. Matthew Stevenson pointed at that mountain right over there. All the miners right before the 1849 California Gold Rush were down there, and he's like, don't leave, boys. There's millions in that hill. There's millions in it. Don't leave. And he tried to get all of them to stay, but unfortunately they still left. But how that happened is they took that quote with them to California, and an Arthur by the name of Mark Twain mm -hmm. heard him using that quote, and he was the one that coined, there's gold in them, thar hills. So it actually came from a Mark Twain novel. But if you're like me and have gold fever, the only prescription is this guy. Time to meet Dahlonega legend Miner Mike and the rest of the friendly bearded crew at Consolidated Gold Mines. Miner Mike, perfect name. Yeah. Tell me about Consolidated. Well, Consolidated was first founded in 1898. Wow. We opened up, it's the largest hard rock mine east of the Mississippi River. The vein here, most gold iron quartz veins only a couple inches wide. This one was 22 foot wide. Humongous, yeah. Wow. There is a huge tunnel right behind us. Correct. You take people on tours. We do. Watch your head right there. That's the wishing rock. You wish you had hit. The tour is about a, a 40 minute walking tour. It uh, takes you under about 60 feet below earth. So you take the old tunnel path where the miners used to blast and tunnel out the ore, crush it, and recover the gold out of the gold mine here. You got paid around a dollar a day to do this, give or take. And your job was to, one guy would hold it, one guy hit it, and he hit, twist, hit, twist. But if you missed hit your friend, you wouldn't buddies no more, of course. This is called a drift drill. And this drill could angle any way, but it couldn't angle straight up or straight down. I'm gonna demonstrate for you here, so it's a little loud, so listen up. So can you imagine sitting here and running this all day, no carrying protections? Or Located just down the road from the charming downtown square, this place is a gem. <laughs> Packed with gold rush artifacts and amazing history, it's just crazy to imagine working down here every day. And the old timers used to cut the lights out on you. And honestly, all I was thinking about was how much gold could still be in here, right in these walls. We all know it's there. Now, they did a good job, but they didn't get all of it. No, sir, they sure didn't. There's still plenty down there. Okay, why aren't we still mining for it? Well, we got a little problem here. We're in the city limits. That's one of the big things. And okay. uh, the, there's a city ordinance that says you can't mine in the city. We got a little problem also. Walmart's right above us. Can you see us setting dynamite off underneath Walmart? Okay, I got it, I got it, yeah. Boom, boom. Mm -mm. Miner Mike even found one of the few critters that enjoys the tranquility of these mines as much as he does. A little sleeping bat. How cool is this? So after learning all about the life of an 1829er, it was time to do a little gold digging of my own. Or at least gold panning. That's where Consolidated's own Miner D steps in with excursion challenge number one. Me versus crewman Wes. 
Miner Mike said you are the guy to come to when it comes to panning. And over there, I see a little bit of gold. Tell me what we're doing here. Well, I do have a little bit of gold for you today. And what's interesting about what we're going to do today is we're going to do speed panning. Now, a speed panning competition is just what it sounds like. You're going to be panning for gold as fast as possible. And your goal is to find these eight gold nuggets. Let's now, look at that. these are very special nuggets. They have been used in speed panning competition for 58 years. These the nuggets. same gold nuggets all the time. So we've been hosting the World Open Gold Panning Championships here at Consolidated Gold Mine for several years. So now I gotta ask, I see gold, I wanna know how much gold. So this right here is about a thousand dollars worth of gold to be panning for today. Okay? That's right. So we've put this screen in the bottom right here mm -hmm. because if you lose it, you're gonna have to find it. Now you notice Wes isn't here so he's not gonna learn this because I'm challenging Wes. Mine or Mike heard he was good. It's got to be the same for everybody. Okay. All eight nuggets in the pan, they're pushed down just a little bit. Oh. You're making a thousand dollars disappear. Miner Jamie's going to help. He's going to get this level for us because again, it's got to be the same for everybody. Level that off for us. I sir. was wondering why you had a stick. All right. Your job is to get all the sand removed from the pan, okay. leaving the nuggets behind. You cannot leave too much sand, and we'll judge that at the end. For every gold nugget you lose, not only will you have to pay for it, but you lose 10 seconds of time on your, on your time. Time starts when you touch the pan. I felt good about how this was going. However, I had no clue what I was doing. The current world record for this competition uh -huh. stands at 7.52 seconds. <laughs> so you're already losing. I can't use my hands, right? Or can I? You can use anything. Oh. Yeah, go for it. Whatever you want to do. Yeah, I won't. I won't. And the time will be called when you say gold. Uh, gold. Beautiful. All right. Two minutes, 36 seconds is your official time. Okay. All, All right. right. Now we're going to look to see how many nuggets we've got. Eight. All gold nuggets accounted for. Very good. Good job. Thank you. Now, I told you you had to get rid of all the sand, and the way that we measure that is yeah. with the BB. He has a little BB here. Uh -huh. If we put that in there and the sand covers the BB, you've got too much sand. Okay. Let's get an official look here from the BB holder. Miner Jamie, what you think? Do you see it? I see it. I see yes. the BB. Oh, That's a clean pan. Yeah. All right, so we'll log that time. Two minutes, 36 seconds. Pretty good, man. Not Thank you, sir. Yeah. Feeling good, feeling good. Who's up well, next? Wes is up next. Um, you know where Wes is? Have you seen Wes? Matt and Matt has not seen Wes. He was in the mine shaft. Are you going to lead me into this thing? I have no idea. I'm the camera guy. I, I mean, come on. Aren't you? What are you? Doing? I have no idea. What are we actually doing? You're going to have to become multi talented. Are we? So we're painting? So you're the camera guy, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you better stick to that job. <laughs> Goal. Two minutes, 28 seconds. Six gold nuggets. So this was a dirty pan and you lost two nuggets. It's a pretty good day. Thanks for playing along. <laughs> now right, find the other two nuggets. Yeah, you see, Wes was really bad at this, considering he lost to me. However, we were both put to shame when Miner D stepped into this gold panning challenge. Time was 18 seconds. Sir. 18 wow. seconds, Not look bad. at there. All right, next pan, $100, you ready? This is Ted's territory.
place where things are inspired by the big sky spirit. And where you'll know after your first bite that it's something you'll find only at Ted's. Ted's Montana Grill. Excursion challenge number one was in the books and my gold panning skills were just enough to take down the crew. What are we doing? I have no idea. What are we actually doing? But challenge number two was right around the corner. Welcome to Iron Mountain Park at the Iron Mountain Resort, home to rolling hills and ATV adventure trails. So Iron Mountain Park is a 4,300 acre recreational facility. We have 150 miles of outdoor off-road trails. So you can just go all day. You could go several days and oh, probably yeah. still not hit so it Lots all. of people come for the weekend. They stay, they camp, and they're here the whole time. We've also got rental cabins you can come check out. We've got a restaurant and an off-road store. We've got a concert venue. It's really a cool place. So much to do. These trails start with a bang. Pedal to the metal at times, but once you get on the twisting, curving, and sometimes muddy wooded trails, your childhood go-karting skills are really put to the test. But what really sets Iron Mountain apart are the scenic views packed within. Oh my God. Oh, look at that. Especially this spot, which is a must for every adventurer. Even though I'm having a blast, when you come to a spot like this, you just gotta slow down a little bit and take in this nearly 360 view. This is incredible. You have Sawney Mountain over there. If you look way beyond, you even see Kennesaw Mountain and even some buildings in Midtown Atlanta. This is absolutely amazing. Then you go all along the ridge here to where you see the beginning of the Appalachian Trail, Springer Mountain. So after the adventure warm-up and spectacular views, it was excursion challenge time. This place is full of adventure, full of challenges. You have many options, but you've narrowed it down to one today for me. Right, I mean, there's so much out here, 150 miles of trails. We could find stuff for you to do all day. It's so fun. But what we're gonna focus on today is an aerial challenge and see who can catch the most air in their side by side. Oh goodness, all right, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> yeah. All right, maybe all four wheels off the ground, is that, that possible? That would be great, that would be great. I know we can do it, but can you? I have no idea, <laughs> but I'm gonna find out. We all knew the guides had too much horsepower and evil Knievel spirit inside of them to beat me handily, but did our camera guys. Time for crewman Matt to step up to the challenge. All right, the trick is don't go as high as me. You got this? Yeah, I think, uh, I think I'll be good. I would go first. David, yeah. you lost. Yeah, he totally beat him. <laughs> I'll That's how you the do winner. it. That's how you do it. Where's my lunch? We getting steaks again? Wine? What's the reward? This one would go down in Dahlonega folklore as the mustache massacre of Iron Mountain. I was indeed humbled, but the show's not over yet, folks. When we return, we head back to Dahlonega's downtown square for our final excursion challenge.
Planning for gold, exploring Dahlonega's downtown charm, and battling in a little catch air challenge along the trails of Iron Mountain has set this excursion off with a bang. Let's now journey back to Dahlonega's downtown square for our final excursion challenge. And this one is oh so sweet. Welcome to the Fudge Factory. Dahlonega is an amazing place and we're pretty much a cornerstone, you know, people give directions by us. My family started the business in 1982. I had family history here. We make all of the candies in-house and then we ship them all over the world. I just finished making a batch of caramel, so uh, the first thing that's going to hit you in the face is an incredible aroma of caramel, but we also are making 60 or 70 different chocolates in-house, so the aroma of the chocolate's going to be overwhelming when you walk in the door. All right, Tony. Yes, sir. This is that challenge you spoke of. This is the challenge. This smells good. Oh, yeah. It looks good. We have caramel. Right. We have chocolate we do all right what kind of chocolate is this this is a 68 percent cacao dark chocolate probably one of our more popular items every bit of me wants to just stick my hand in and winnie the pooh please don't okay i won't <laughs> so you can see it's just a matter of a little bit of lift when you grab the caramel dunking the whole thing under the chocolate yeah. and then neatly transferring it over to the parchment without creating a big foot underneath it. So you have a little trident there. Yes. So you drop the caramel, it seems to float. Coat the bottom, that's yeah. right. And then you gently lift underneath it, and then we transfer it over. And you want to try to seal that bottom edge, because you don't want caramel leaking out. I called it a trident, it's also known as a fork. A fork yeah. or a trident, okay, it is a trident, yeah. 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 Oh, see there, I even oh, dropped one. See, that would have been a fail on my part. You just have to reach in there and catch yeah. it, you can't be afraid. The chocolate is your friend. Okay. You ready to give yes, it a shot? Yes, all right. Okay, <laughs> it's better. All right, here we go. Slide it under. Drop them in, cover it. Middle tap. Did I get off enough? No, not, not really. You got a little big a foot, and there's a hole over here where your caramel is going to leak out. Oh. So we got to. So I got to redo this. No, there's really no redoing it. So that that, that one becomes uh, quality control. So I'm not getting paid for that one. <laughs> That's right. Okay. All right. All right. So I'm going to try this again. Okay. Gently tap and then you want to slide the fork towards you to clean the bottom off a little bit and that way you don't get that. That's what I didn't do last there time. There you go. That one still has a big open spot on the Darn side. It. So we're gonna have have the caramel. This caramel is very soft, so once it becomes room temperature, it'll start to ooze out that hole. <sighs> That's two. That's two. So I have one more shot to one, get there. One more shot. One! 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 One, one shot! Not a future for sure. Let's go! I was building on the lecture Versus coming daily under pressure Working on the plot and the scheme The true stock trademark is at the edge of the Yes! You know, there is a foot 
We'll send them home with you. <laughs> You're saying you can't sell mine? No way, we could. Uh, they would still be eaten. But yeah, I'm sure. Somebody's not going to want to pay for it. No. <laughs> I don't know if this is a pass or not. Um, no. I, oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, um, I really respect what you do uh, it, as an art. Yes. As much as a taste. You can sell well, one of those. No, no. You guys are going to get to eat those. Hear that? Are we even, guys? We square? No. Yeah, yeah, Matt's good. I want him too. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Chocolate challenge complete and tastefully done at that. This excursion is about to embark on a golden reward. When we return, we head to the Forest Hills Resort for a two-part reward. Think Cinderella meets the Wild Frontier. This is Ted's territory. A place where things are inspired by the big sky spirit. And where you'll know after your first bite that it's something you'll find only at Ted's. Ted's Montana Grill. Catching air, but not as much as this guy. Panning for gold, but not as fast as this fellow. And making fudge-covered caramel almost good enough to sell. This Dahlonega excursion has been a good one, folks. So now it's reward time, and we found the perfect spot. Fittingly named Forest Hills Resort. The name of our place is called Forest Hills, and that has two R's in it. For rest, people come here for rest people when they go on vacations you know there's all kinds of things that they can do but most people just want to stop yeah. you know and if you give them a nice comfortable bed a, a clean room and good food they're good you know yeah. and yeah. Then, you know I am you know? Yeah. <laughs> Forest Hills began back in 1977 with six rustic cabin getaways and has been growing brick by brick or in this case log by log ever since everything we've done we've done from scratch we started with no money. It's just been through the tenacity of us working and just the desire you know, to, to do things for people, do nice things, make people happy, uh, give them comfortable places, stuff like that, that it kept driving us and it kept working. I mean, everything we've done has been just for the comfort of people. I even say we didn't build it, our guests built it by suggesting this and that and whatnot. And if we heard it two or three times, we would do it and that, that would work. David Kraft and the Kraft family have expanded grandly over the years to where they can now comfortably house and entertain up to 200 guests, and the amenities seem endless. Hot tub cabins, large group lodges, massage rooms, hiking trails, an on-site restaurant and horseback riding at the Gold City Corral, just to name a few. 
And one of the additional amenities at the Gold City Corral is the horse and carriage ride, where my reward begins. And it was here where the crew surprisingly allowed me to ride in front, possibly having forgotten my Iron Mountain catch air failure. Along the main property and into the woods, these majestic horses trotted in sync and guided us along the trails to our eventual reward destination, where our host David was already grilling up the steaks. Come and get it! <laughs> All right, what do we get? Here you go. We have other guests here, so. <laughs> yeah, but you won, so you, yeah. you start. You, you... So I enjoyed at least half of this excursion reward while the crew heartlessly feasted on that steak dinner right in front of me. Regardless, this was an unforgettable part one to this Dahlonega excursion, and I still have part two for excursion redemption. Excursion complete. See you next time. <laughs>